Hello there, welcome back to The Closet Historian. Today I'm going to show you how I do this 1940s half poodle hairstyle on myself whenever I feel I feel I need a poodle. Um, of course now I do have these bangs here in front. This is of course when they're a bit grown out, as you can see. This is pre-haircut once again. I'm first going to start by sectioning off the front top section of hair here, including my bangs, and then a little bit of a U-shape behind them as well. So just sectioning off the very top of my hair here, um, where we will be putting the poodle eventually. And I'm just going to twist that and clip it out of the way while we work on the rest. I am also going to section it from the ear up on either side, and then again, twist and clip that out of the way for now. I'm just going to section from my ears straight across the back and take that big portion of hair and again, clip it out of the way for now. And then I'm going to take a smaller little horizontal slice as well and pin up the two different sides of that out of the way while I work on the very bottom hairs at the nape of my neck here. I'm just going to spray my hair with a heat protectant spray. You're also going to be needing pin curl clips, a rat tail comb, a styling brush, and bobby pins of course, and then of course curling irons. I have a three quarter inch and a half inch for this style. I'm just going to start by using the smaller curling iron on these hairs on the back of my neck here. Again, I just make sure that I have that uh, primed with heat protectant spray and then brushed through again just to make sure it's all ready to go. I'm just going to curl everything in the back down and under as usual here on the channel. If you've watched any of my hair tutorials, it's very rare that I do anything else but curl the back of my hair under like this. And so I just curl the hair, hold it until it takes, and then I do wrap each curl around my finger and then pin it with a pin curl um, clip to set. As you can see, I'm not doing it the most nicest here. You can do it messy, um, but I just pin those warm curls with a pin curl clip to set. And then I'm just gonna go across the back doing the same here, separating this section into four curls. Um, not that it really matters for the style because you'll see later, I just put the back of my hair into a bun eventually. So that's what the back section looks like all pinned down. Again, those curls are all pinned down facing the same direction. Here, I'm just gonna split this top section into two sections. Uh, again, not very cleanly. It doesn't really matter for this style that I'll be doing today. I'm just going to take this big portion of hair from the back here and give it a nice brush through real fast to get rid of any tangles. And then I'm going to take, what's that? A horizontal section out of the bottom of that. That's right. Um, and you can see me just cleaning that up here just for no really particular reason. Clip the rest of that hair away again. And then I will again spray this with heat protectant spray. You want to protect your hair when you're doing all this heat styling, of course. Um, as you can see, my hair, the ends are quite fried, so clearly I haven't been protecting it enough. Uh, split that into two, clip one out of the way again, and then just curl this. I'm using the bigger curling iron now um, to do the back bulk of my hair. I usually use a little bit larger curling iron just because it goes a little bit quicker that way. And so here I am just curling down and under, as usual, wrapping around my finger and pinning to cool. So I'm just going to keep going through that section, taking those horizontal slices out of this vertical section. You know me, it's all about sectioning. Um, again, with this style, you really actually don't have to be this careful. You can just really throw curls in the back here or use foam rollers overnight or a wet set. Um, any sort of set really to get curl for this particular style is going to be fine. There doesn't have to be a specific curl pattern, especially if you're just going for a little bit messy poodle like this. And it is both uh, accurate to have a very like set and sculptural uh, designed poodle where you have like curls in rows and are very shiny and sculpted and it's also very um, accurate to have a very fuzzy frizzy little poof on top of your head so either way or in between is accurate as far as the 1940s are concerned but I'm just going through here and methodically sectioning the back of my hair spraying it with hair um, spray and then curling it down and under and pinning it to cool as usual so here you can just watch me doing that entire section, but I will just speed through the other side because we get the idea. Again, any of my videos, you can watch me kind of doing a very similar situation to the back of my hair. So I try not to linger on this bit too much. All right, so now once you've got the all back all pinned and cooling, you can start working on the front section. So here's the first side front section that we separated from the ear up. I'm going to separate this into three curls today um, because I'll be using the smaller curling iron, which I don't always use the small one. Again, I'm just combing through this to make sure the tangles are out and spraying it with heat protectant again. And then I'll take a horizontal slice out of the top there after I make sure there's no tangles, keeping that hair smooth. Grab a little slice out of the top there and then I'm gonna, just going to be curling it on the small curling iron. Of course, any layers with a smaller curling iron become a serious nuisance, so I kind of have to have a bit of technique to get these things to stay 
in the curling iron. But I'll just roll that to the top of the head and then let that set. And then I do slide these curls off of the curling iron, wrap them around my finger again, and pin them to cool. It's a, it's a common theme around here. I am using this smaller curling iron up around my face here just because I want to have as many little curls as possible to pin on top of my head in a minute here. So once you kind of look like George Washington, uh, you know, a little bit 18th century of a style here, you can do the other side in the same way. So here I've done that. And this is what my hair looks like as of right now. Everything in the back is pinned down and under to the same side. Um, I don't roll them in any different way. So this top section here, of course, half of the hair is bangs and half of it is lengths. So I'm just getting some of that length out of the way here with a big curl um, for the ones in the back. And I'm just going to, of course, slide these off and bend them to cool. It's, uh, you know, boring and repetitive at this point, isn't it? So then I'm just going to take the longer sections. I'm kind of separating my bangs out of these sections now, and I'll be using this small curling iron for the rest of the most front-facing areas. Again, rolling and pinning to cool. I'm just separating my bangs out of there as best I can, and then we will curl my bangs as well, but just taking the hairs up here. If you have, if you don't have bangs, for example, you would just go ahead and curl all this up here. You, again, you do not need to do it in a certain pattern. It doesn't need to be all to one side or the other or back or forward. Um, you can do kind of whatever you want. Uh, probably for a poodle, I would just pin everything forward uh, just for the volume, but that's that. And then since I do have bangs, I will again be curling them with this tiny curling iron. The smaller the curling iron, the better on short hair like this. So I'm just going to curl all of these with this little half inch curling iron. Try not to burn my forehead. Uh, if you notice very closely, in this video, or if you look closely in this video, you'll notice I did do have a burn on my neck from using a curling iron. Um, I never said I wasn't clumsy because I, I definitely am. So I'm just kind of willy nilly curling these little bangs bits at the front here. We're just gonna be incorporating that in with the rest of the curls that we're gonna be pinning on top of our head for our poodle here. And now that you kind of look like a 1960s Julius Caesar, um, you go ahead and take out the pins from the curls that are cooled. If you need to wait for your hair to cool a little bit more, you totally can too. Just like go grab a cup of coffee and come back. I'll take out the pins from the side curls as well. And then I'm just going to take those side curls and pin them up out of the way for now. So you just take, see me taking in an alligator clip and pinning that stuff out of the way because that's eventually where they're going to go uh, up here on the top of the head. And this one too. This one actually didn't take very well with that big curling iron. So I go ahead and redo it now <laughs> with my smaller half inch curling iron because the curl just didn't take as much as we would we would like. So I'll just let that heat up once more in a smaller curl pattern. Now for the back of the hair, I'm just gonna run my fingers through to break up these curls. Um, I can be a little bit rough with this just because it's all very curly. Um, and of course, if this lays a way you like, you can just leave it down in the back um, because this is a half up poodle style, this one, especially because I have shorter hair and this hair in the back will not reach up to join the poodle, but I'm just gonna pin it out of the way for now. And then we will fix our front here. So just making sure I find all the pins in here uh, and remove all of our pin curl clips, etc. Instead of running my fingers directly through the curls up here, I'm going to split them apart. So here I am taking one curl and I just separate it into two, winding those to keep them relatively smooth. So instead of having these little frizzy bits, I'm trying to smooth them back into a curl shape, but I am just going through and separating each curl into two or three individual curls because we want as many little curly cues as possible to pin up in our poodle in a minute here. So just going through and separating and smoothing the curls. Doing the same for the other side and also the curls on the top of my head as well. And now that you're looking well, I mean, just so glam, take the first side section here and we're going to be kind of taking the same area uh, that you would make into a victory roll. I am just going to throw a little bit of back combing in here as well for some volume. And you just sort of twist it a tiny bit at the end there so that the curls face forward over your forehead basically. And then I'm just going to pin that with two crisscrossing bobby pins so that it will stay in place. And then we'll use these curls in a minute and arrange them how we would properly like. Again, you can see how my lengths of my hair are much lighter than the rest of my hair. So this creates a very contrasty look up here in my curls, which is not exactly ideal for blending everything together. We're going to do the same here with this other side section. Again, just pulling up that area that you would normally victory roll putting a little bit of back combing in there, smoothing it with your hands, and then just twisting it a tiny bit at the end forward like that so that the curls face forward into our little 
well, it's very pompadour right now, but it's going to be a poodle in a minute here. So this, this is the uh, part where you can really be as messy or as defined as you like. Just start defining your curls, getting them to lay how you would like. Again, kind of a pompadour look right now. Um, so just smoothing the curls that you would like, would like to smooth, separating the ones that you would like to separate, and then just arranging them to your liking. Again, you can do this as particular and structured as you want, or as loose and frizzy and, um, you know, free as you would like as well. So here I am just arranging my curls, getting the ends to sort of participate in a curl as opposed to just sticking out oddly. Um, and then you can use bobby pins or just little regular um, bent little hair pins as you like to pin these so that they will stay how you like them. There's no really rhyme or reason to how I'm arranging my curls this day here. I'm just trying to make them sort of behave. And then you're kind of incorporating the bang, if you have bangs like I do, um, just kind of incorporating those little curls into the rest of the poodle as much as possible. Um, you can either leave some of them down like kiss curls, as you can see mine are falling into kiss curls quite easily here, um, or you can pin them up to be more involved with the curls above it. Um, so it, depending on how what you like, you can either incorporate them more or leave them further down on the forehead. Um, both are quite accurate and look just fine for a poodle in my opinion. So you just kind of go around poking the curls into submission and making the arrangement you like best. Here I am forming my bangs into a more particular curl. And then I'm just going to speed through all of this poking and prodding here. But you get the you get the general idea. You just kind of mold things with your hands until you like how it looks. All right, so once you have something that you like, of course, you just spray, spray, spray so that it will stay in place and pin wherever necessary to make it behave. This doesn't have to be symmetrical in any way either. You can have it be asymmetric or closer to one side of the face or not as uh, as you like as well. But here I am just using some uh, firm hold hairspray and smoothing those sides and arranging those curls, prodding them into place. It's a lot of poking and prodding here. So that's what the half poodle in the front looks like. And then of course, if you had like a pretty barrette or something, you could actually pin this back like this is with a, with a pretty barrette or clip or whatever. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and run my fingers through these curls again and see if they will decide to behave. They don't on this day. Um, but you could also just put a hairnet or a snood over these back curls or even a scarf if you should like. A scarf would be really pretty um, tied with like a bow behind the curls in front of your face. If you have a he head shape that will support that. My head actually is not very rounded at the back so it's hard for me to keep scarves on. Um, so you could just leave this down with the curls in the back but you also could take this curl and brush it into a more of a smooth page boy ish style back here in the back or more of a smoother wave again my hair wasn't really cooperating here it's uh, quite dry i needed to be cut and um, so i need a haircut and a hair color in this video um here we can see that lovely burn i have on my neck from the curling iron because again i'm clumsy but you can just go ahead since all of this was curled under and down you can brush it into a sort of page boy i don't do a very nice job here just because i know that's not how i'm going to leave it um but you get the general idea here so that would look sort of like this with a smoother back and the curls in the front but what i'm going to do is go ahead and brush this into a little tiny ponytail so that i can make it into a curly cue of a bun back here comb through this with my hands and then actually even the brush or comb rather as well um, just to get everything aligned and again because everything is curled in the same direction we can create this little roll bun situation here and you just pin the ends down to your head in a sort of little uh I don't know like rip curl sort of wave situation here so this is a little like curl and you can bring it up around the sides as far as you'd like of course the more hair you have the bigger the bigger bun you can have going on back here and then a french twist also looks very good with this if you do have long hair you can curl it and bring the rest up of it rest of it up into a high ponytail and pin those curls around the ponytail to match the poodle in the front so you have your whole head in a poodle style but of course my hair is not long enough for that so i'm just putting this little bun together back here if I was being real fancy, I would take a little bit of this hair and wrap it around the hair tie to hide it too. Of course, you could add a clip or comb or flowers around this bun back here too to add a little bit more pizzazz if you should like. But this is the finished style for my, for my day. This is my 40s half poodle. You can also add a nice flower clip to the front here. Very cute for 
an evening in the summer keep your hair off your neck when it is hot out which is also nice but i think this is a nice evening look especially if you've had curly hair during the day and you just pin it all up like this at night but here i am with my silly posing here at the end to show you the hairstyle with some nice fancy clip-on earrings going on of course i don't have any eye makeup on here because i was about to go film an eye makeup tutorial but thank you guys for watching today watching me do my hair once again i hope this was helpful for some of you and i will see you again real soon bye